Probably not at this stage. Um, I'm just going to shortly turn his base leg for the um, circuit, so does Ryan just intercept him on base? Uh, I copy that and uh, we'll establish ourselves in accordance. Uh, Echo Golf through the Cessna behind you, he's trying to um, inspect your undercarriage visually. If you can, slow down just a little bit, thanks to uh, facilitate his inspection. Uh, we call Michael Cessna. Uh, Echo Golf Yankee, there is no left undercarriage from the wall. Echo Golf Yankee, okay, sorry, just to confirm, um, the undercarriage is, is, sorry, is not there, is that correct? That's correct, there is no left hand bridge down. Echo, Golf Yankee. Okay, thanks for your help there, Fab. Um, what are your intentions now? I'm just doing an orbit in order to have him back uh, on uh, a point, and if I can be of any other assistance, tell me. Echo, Golf Yankee, well, the services are actually on their way, um, so apparently at the moment he is uh, pretty much full tanks so he's got some endurance there. Um, once the services are in place, I think we'll just have to proceed with the um, uh, the AP from there. So uh, thanks for your help, mate. Um, now your intentions. Uh, probably I can give you two more touch and goes before the services arrive. Uh, advice. Yeah, uh, we'll do a touch and go uniform golf fox shot. Hey, go golf Yankee. Hey, golf Yankee. Okay, number one, run right there. Mike Fox, just to keep you updated, um, as per the advice from the instructor in Echo Golf Yankee, uh, he does advise that the left main gear is uh, almost not there. It appears that the, the wheel is just hanging down, and uh, we're calling out the services for you. Um, so there will be fire services in attendance shortly that continue maintaining 1,500 in the left circuit and I will advise um, when an approach uh, becomes available. We are also getting into contact with your school as well. Uh, we'll call my for a second. Uh, and to be precise on the end of carriage, it's actually completely up. Uh, Echo Golf Yankee. Sorry, Fab, can you say that again, please? Uh, it is completely up. There is no end of carriage. It's not hanging down at all. Echo Golf Yankee, understood. So to make it clear, there is the main gear, the nose wheel, and one on the right which is down, and that's all. Okay, sorry, just to confirm, um, his right undercarriage is okay and, and the nose wheel is okay, but it's the left main undercarriage which is completely gone. That's exactly right, Jimmy Fox Golf Function. Ah, it's cool, Golf Yankee. Golf thank you. Uh, this is uh, Basic uh, calling um, one of the instructors, can we? Uh, what's the situation? And Basic, this is the control tower. Sorry, you want an update on the situation, is that correct? I need to live on front of Victor. I heard one of my students actually up in the air with the uh, problem with the undercarriage. Okay, have it. Can you contact ground frequency 119 base and we'll advise you further then. That's one line, pleasure. Yes, Matthew, ground, yes, small spots like Yankee, uh, we noticed when he was there, brought off one zero left, that his left hand undercarriage uh, leg was flapping in the breeze, apparently it's dislodged now, it's, uh, it's dislodged off the aircraft and uh, he's only got the right hand main and the nose wheel, we have called out the services, still awaiting to get onto the safety officer, expect that shortly, and um, we've got him holding over the top to 1,500 at the moment, uh, pending um, the services being applied. That's great. Yeah, give us a call of one of the tower numbers, and um, we might require a, uh, an instructor to actually advise him uh, a technique, flying technique, to handle the aircraft uh, as he does the actual approach. At this stage, you'll hold him over the top at 1,500 to the past. Don, do you want one of us to go over and help you? We've got some extra staff here. Go on, Grant. Okay, uh, PAB is one, and uh, the pilot advised full tanks. Mike Fox, you just to keep you in the loop. Um, your school has been advised. There's any instructor up the control tower just to um, get a visual uh, on 
situation with the landing gear and um, the services are on their way. So just um, hold a 1,500 and uh, I'll tell you as soon as anything changes. Mike Fox at Yankee. Uh, Mike Fox at Yankee, is it just the left uh, landing gear wheels off? Mike Fox at Yankee, it's actually the whole undercarriage assembly, the, so the left undercarriage assembly, the, the strut as well as the wheel appears to be off. Uh, how about the right one? The right one and nose gear appear um, in normal condition. Okay, my push, thank you. Archer Tower, Sling 8489 is a beam and TV Tower 1500. Copied information, Charlie, and happy to overfly the field uh, southeast or attack if necessary. Arch tag today. Okay, look, just be advised, um, even though it does say aerodrome closed due to the emergency procedures, if um, we are able to recover aircraft for a full stop landing on, at the moment on one's row right, uh, would you like a landing? A moment of landing would be good for the Sling 8489, okay, expect that. And report at Centenary Bridge at 1000 for entry at that level. Report Centenary Bridge at 1000, Sling 8489. One, uh, okay, we're not too sure on that at the moment. We're just trying to decide. There's a couple of things to consider. With one zero right, because of the proximity of that fence, um, southern fence, um, that's a potential hazard. Um, zero four right, the problem we have is with uh, a crosswind. Um, so at this stage, I don't think that one will be suitable. So unless I get direction from you, um, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to uh, get the aircraft to approach from my one zero left. The instructor is, should be in the tower fairly soon. We'll get an update from him and as soon as I have the information I'll pass it on. Mike Fox right Yankee answer. Echo Golf Yankee, go ahead. No, Mike Fox Yankee, Mike Fox Yankee answer. Mike Fox at Yankee. Just be advised, uh, from our observations from the control tower, it appears that your left main landing gear is... Yes, uh, it has dislodged. Uh, we're not sure where, um, in the suburbs or whether on the aerodrome. Loose at the moment. Um, Car 1, uh, we're just speaking to the CFI for that school, uh, so uh, unless you hear differently, would probably be 30 minutes until he arrives uh, to uh, provide some uh, guidance for that uh, student pilot. He's flying in the wind, so what I'm going to get you to do is, uh, if it's okay with you... Mike Fox, Yankee, just a further update. Um, apparently the new chief flying instructor is uh, he's going to proceed to the control tower, come up to the control tower. He's going to inspect the, um, the undercarriage visually and uh, provide any advice that he can. So he's probably about, uh, I think, half an hour away. So if you're okay, um, just uh, maintain that left pattern at 1,500. Again, the services are on their way as well. And uh, as soon as I get some more information, I will let you know. Uh, Mike Fox, thank you. We'll maintain 1,500. Mike Fox, thank you. Okay, can I have a copy of media 48, see more Mount Keeper. Operations north of the field, if possible, please, at 1,000. Hotel Tango Victor confirmed. Media 48, actually. Media 48, Sarge to Tower, good day, and you are operations within the zone towards north at 1000. Confirmed. Sorry, hang on, hang on, I'm doing it. Media 48, I say, to the north of the field, please, at 1000. Media 48, okay, enter the zone at 1000 towards the north of the fields, and uh, is it to our aircraft uh, experiencing crop? Media 48, that's safe. Okay, 1,000 into the zone and um, report established an error of operation. Currently, the uh, aircraft in question is operating at 1,500, but uh, just be advised, he's a solo student, so not guaranteed to maintain that level. So if you can remain possibly outside the fixed wing circuit at 1,000, I'll uh, give you an update on where his position is once we're in. Well, yeah, thanks, at 1,000. 
5,000 feet, media 48. And the thing in the left or the right circuit. He's in the northern left circuit, uh, so basically doing one zero left pattern, left circuit at 1,005. The yeah, it's okay, that's fine, and we can operate south of the field if that's going to make life a bit easier to give everyone a bit of room. Okay, that would be preferred. Okay, so um, you can transit to the south at 1,000. To establish south of the field, we'll call you over here, media 48. I'm Mike Foster, Yankee Town. Mike Foster, Yankee. Uh, Mike Foster, Yankee, have Ed on the phone. Uh, he'll be coming out shortly to help guide you through the process uh, from the tower camp. He's just on the way in now. Uh, I suggest you uh, just continue to burn off as much fuel as possible. It's, uh, and um, are you burning off from the left tank at the moment? Uh, from the right tank. OK. Could you, uh, from the uh, CFI, uh, change to uh, the left tank to uh, start burning fuel off from the left tank tanks, and that'll uh, start minimising the amount of fuel in that left wing? Uh, we'll call Mike Foxer, thank you. I, OK, thank you. OK, well, I've got the CFI on the uh, line at the moment, and... Um, could you just ask the emergency services, thanks, if they uh, would prefer partial fuel, empty fuel, or a fair bit of fuel in that left-hand tank? Um, possibly the vapours are, are worse than the actual uh, liquid fuel. Can I advise, please? Maurice Brown, good day. Uh, go ahead. Uh, yes, just uh, reference the amount of fuel that you'd prefer in that left-hand tank of that aircraft. It's currently full. Is it better to have um, full fuel, partial fuel, or just the fuel vapour in the tank and try and run out as much fuel as possible? What's your preference, just in case the tank ruptures? Yeah, we'll go. Mike Fox for Yankee Town. Thank you, Can I just confirm again the number of persons on board your aircraft? Uh, it's just three. One person on board. Mike Foxy, um, copy one person on board. Thank you. Mike Foxy, can you just a further update? Um, apparently the new chief flying instructor is uh, he's going to proceed to the control tower, come up to the control tower. He's going to inspect the... Um, Mike Foxy, just to keep you in the picture, all the services are present at the airfield at the moment. They're just um, talking about how they're going to position. Uh, basically, we're just waiting on your chief flight instructor to uh, proceed, make his way to the control tower. Um, probably another 20 minutes at this point. Are you doing okay up there? Mike Foxy. And uh, provide. Mike Foxy, just to confirm, I'm looking at the cloud base. Are you well clear of all the cloud? Or um, there's some low patches towards the east of the field. Uh, I'm clear of all clouds. Oh, for sure. You can, so he's probably about, uh, I think, half an hour away. So if you're okay, um, just uh, maintain that left pattern at 1,500. Again, the services are on their way as well. And uh, as soon as I get some more information, I will let you know. Uh, Mike Foster, thank you. We'll maintain 1,500. Mike Foster. Corey, are you there? Ah, uh, yes, I'm here. Relax, keep calm. Hope he's on his way. Ed is coming, OK? Just relax. Oh, OK, thank you. Uh, it's only in November. Um, just, uh, we've got another few minutes. Would you like us to hold that off, or do you think a eastern uh, departure will be, uh, will be available then? I prefer you to hold it off. Um, we've got some instructors yeah, up over in the tower at the moment, so that aircraft are tolling the circuit, we're expecting yeah, approach fairly soon. So um, if you delay things, that would be preferable. Yeah. We'll delay. Uh, it's only in November. If you get your mobile, I just want to give you a quick call. Mike Fox, thank you, Jeff. Fox, thank you. 
Hi Foxy here, I've got the uh, Chief Flying Instructor up here at the moment. Um, he's requested that you do a, uh, a pass and uh, possibly in the two-way direction if you can. So if you can just maintain crosswind from there, just maintain your northerly heading and when ready, make a right turn to join final, change your runway two eight right. Um, and just make that approach to that runway and we'll have a look and visually inspect uh, the gear from there. When ready, uh, turn final runway to eight flight, Mike Foxtrot, Yankee. And Mike Fox Yankee, if you can commence descent now, thanks, uh, down to 500 feet for that uh, pass. It'll give us a better look at your um, gear. Uh, we'll call Mike Fox Road, Fox Road, Yankee. Mike Fox, have you commenced the descent yet? Starting descending, Mike Fox Road, Yankee. Mike Fox, you just commenced descent down to 500 feet. Thanks so that um, hopefully you're 500 feet by passing a beam the control tower and uh, we'll be able to get a good look at uh, the situation. 500 feet, Mike Fox Road, Yankee. Mike Fox, thank you. Mike Fox, thanks for that. Um, just stand by for further instructions. Mike Fox, climb back to 1500 and just continue in the right pattern for runway 28 right. Climb to 1500, put your right pattern, Mike Fox, thank you. And Mike Fox, thank you. Just advise us if uh, that cloud's going to be close. There is a bit of weather approaching from the northwest, so if it's getting a bit too close to the cloud, just um, let us know. We'll call Mike Fox Yankee. And when we're going to set up for the, oh well sorry, the, the landing's going to be on runway 04 right, so if you want to set up for that. I'm not sure when the landing's going to occur, we're just making that final determination reference to the fuel on the left hand tank. Um, but hopefully we'll have some resolution of that very shortly, but uh, if you wish to um, proceed to um, set up for the approach for the aircraft from my right. Mike Fox, thank you, Tim. Oh, Mike Fox, thank you, go ahead. Mike Fox, thank you. The wind is now starting to trend in a northeasterly direction. It's currently uh, uh, northeast road 20 okay. knots. So at this stage, expect an approach for runway zero for right. However, for the moment, stay in the pattern for runway 28 right, but just um, start thinking about an approach to 04 right. Um, at the moment, your chief flight instructor is just speaking to some of the services uh, to see what they like in terms of, uh, I suppose, the amount of fuel in your tanks. Um, that's really the, I suppose, the prime consideration at the moment. Okay, right, so thank you. Staying in the 28 right pattern for northern circuits at the moment, and uh, I'll let you know what the two fine instructor comes up with very soon. Good set, 28 right circuit pattern, Mike Fox, I think. Media 48, did you copy that? Media 48, 8, thanks. Yeah, if you just stay in the south of the field for the moment, but um, at the moment we're considering an approach probably to 04 right, so the wind is now trending north easterly at 20 knots. Thanks, and period uh, Alpha might be an option if that's the case for us. Uh, not Area Alpha, um, it might possibly be Area Bravo just to the west of uh, Zero for Run. Thanks, contact Grant. Okay, Lehman, I'm in the Grand G'day, taxi over. One, uh, just uh, ongoing in uh, conversation with the instructors at the moment as to how much time they should give him. It's an offset between uh, uh, burning the fuel off and uh, getting the pilot uh, a little bit spooked out by being up there longer. So just trying to make that consideration. Uh, so you were uh, clear, obviously, to proceed to uh, the run up for runway 04, right? Uh, Yankee. 
Yankee 2, go ahead. Mike Fox Yankee 2, helicopters are just making approach. Uh, they are uh, at the 500 feet. Mike Fox Yankee, they're well clear of you. Uh, obviously, you know, if you do see uh, a couple of helicopters, they're making approach for landing. Mike Proctor, Yankee, tower. Mike Proctor, Yankee, go ahead. Okay, uh, everybody's uh, doing a lot of great work for you, and uh, they're very complimentary of how patient and calm you are. Uh, what we were looking at, and we just wanted to run it by you right now, is the wind is favouring uh, uh, into wind landing on runway 04 right. So if uh, you would like to, when you're ready, position yourself into a circuit direction, 404 right, uh, just so that you can start thinking about an approach to that runway. Uh, I will call my Fox short, yes, please. Fox short, Yankee, so uh, I'll leave it up to you. Um, if you want to turn left or right uh, to start positioning yourself for that runway. Media 48, can't make you busy, but if you could just have a think about where you like us uh, for our operations as well. Media 48, okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, the Probably the best would be um, just to remain uh, west uh, where you are. Media 48, roger, no worries. Just let us know when we're right to become airborne, obviously close at the time. Okay, no worries. Uh, so, uh, the pilot is uh, just having a look now and making an approach past 04 right and uh, that pilot will uh, just continue um, conducting circuits until um, it's uh, time to make the uh, approach for landing. We'll give him plenty of space until we're ready. I'm ready for landing. Wind check zero four zero degrees one six knots. So uh, you can continue uh, in a, a right circuit for runway zero four right, and uh, you can operate uh, not above one thousand five hundred. Continue zero four right. Operate not uh, above one thousand five hundred. Yankee, Okay, uh, when your wings level, I've, uh, I've got one, a flying instructor that uh, wants to chat with you. Okay, Mark Fox Yankee. Okay, here's your instructor now. It cuts down at about one zero minutes. Mark here, how are you going? Uh, Mark, yeah, I'm, I'm good. That's good, mate. We're um, going to set you up for runway 04 landing, and um, I've got some instructions and some things for you to do when you're ready to copy. All right, Mike Foxer, thank you. Okay, so a couple of things here. Obviously, we just want you to make sure your um, seat belt is secure and that uh, nothing is in the right-hand seat and the exit is clear. Yep, all done, Mike Foxer, thank you. Perfect. Now, um, confirm you're on the uh, left tank. Hey, sir. All right, now I want you to turn the fuel pump on and change tanks to the right. Turn the fuel pump off and then check the pressure and confirm all good. Fuel pressure is checked, uh, all good. Okay, so just confirming you're on the right tank at the moment. Hey, sir, right tank. And uh, roughly what does the left fuel tank gauge say? About half full, confirm? Hey, sir, half full. Perfect, thanks, mate. Right, so on the approach, there's a couple of things um, I want you to be considering. 
Um, first thing is we're just going to make sure that you just make a normal approach to 04 and just normal approach being stand approach with uh, full flap. Confirm. We'll call White Fox Road Yankee. concerned that the, uh, when the Oleo left the undercarriage that it may have damaged the flap. So just so that you're aware, when you do select flap, just make sure that you know, there's no rolling motion or anything like that. We don't think there will be, but just need you to be considering that as well. Huh? Well done. We'll call my folks short. Yeah, Keith. Hi, Fox 
Yankee, so uh, I'll leave it up to you. Um, if you want to turn left. Stand by one. Uh, we have to check with the uh, the command centre. Right uh, to start positioning yourself for that runway. Okay, I've got the uh, CFI just um, out to the terminal, or gate one would uh, like an escort if you could over to the uh, aircraft. That's the best air CFI. Uh, is there somebody there could uh, accommodate that? Uh, that's understood, mate. Yes, uh, that's been done at the moment. We're just getting final, final word as to uh, approval to shift the aircraft, and that's uh, the vehicle now. The truck is on the way, and uh, he'll bring the CFI out as well. Roger ground, helicopter, Echo, Elizabeth. Echo, Elizabeth, Roger ground. Echo, Elizabeth, we're currently on the ground at uh, D squared. Uh, we have uh, placed stationary. Um, we noticed the uh, information Charlie is still current. Will there be a departure east down available? Echo, Elizabeth, November at this stage, uh, we haven't had authority from the command centre to say we can open, but um, we're just waiting for that. Okay, um, Echo, uh, Lima, November. Um, how long do you think?